I think, one of the most spectacular fighting fish that we've got in our freshwater. Fish in Canada show, brought to you in part by Sale, the Outdoors Superstore, Coleman, the Outdoor Company, Muscal, proudly Canadian since 1951, Cooper Tires, life's a road trip, come on, let's go, and Princecraft Boats, dominate the waters. Hi folks, welcome to the Fish in Canada show. This week, Pete and I are visiting the Long Sioux area of the St. Lawrence River. Now this area is arguably home to some of the biggest carp in the world, along with giant sturgeon, bass, walleye, and muskie. It's a fisherman's paradise. And best of all, it's located just off the 401 and upstream from the great town of Cornwall. Hey. Hey, man. We're standing in front of the Manson Lapierre General Store, one of the more interesting buildings in the area. Now, it's interesting because it used to be the hub of a thriving village, but as well, it's interesting because it used to be located right here. That's right, buddy. One of the cool things about Long Sioux, aside from the amazing carp fishing, of course, is that much of this area, and we're talking villages, roadways, and even the original bed of the St. Lawrence River itself, are now buried 90 feet below the surface. While the Long Sioux attracts its fair share of boaters, paddlers, tourists, and divers, all intrigued by this unique underwater ghost town, it also brings in sport fishermen from around the world. And many of them are after the same thing, gigantic and really feisty carp. And we're gonna be going for some monsters. I am pumped, buddy. Let's go get geared up. Me too. <laughs> Look at this. Paradise, baby. Paradise. Oh. We are going to slay them. The perfect little area, I love it. The secret to getting carp into your boat is getting them near your boat. And the best way to do that is by chumming the water. It's a bit of a throwback to your childhood playing with slingshots doing yeah. this stuff. It's great. Now different anglers will have different recipes for chum. For us, it's a matter of boiling corn, adding in some sweet flavored ingredients like vanilla or pineapple, and finally letting it sit for at least 24 hours. Then it's as simple as slingshotting it into the water. Yes! <laughs> Look at it swimming around in that net. It's corn in That's that belly, all probably. corn right there. It's funny to think that we're fishing right over top of old villages here. You know, like roadways, houses, stores, and get this, even old graveyards. Funny, but not ha-ha. More in an eerie sort of way. In fact, if you're near an area that used to be called Lock 21, there's still an old set of stairs that creep their way right up to the surface. You know what? We should have brought our dime here. <laughs> Better than that. Brian! Oh! <laughs> That's the dude from Dime Stores. Hey, buddy. Brian's going to be shooting all the wonderful underwater footage that you're going to see in this episode. Excellent. <laughs> Brian Pallack runs Dive Source Scuba Supplies in Oshawa and is an old friend of ours. When he heard that we were heading to the Lost Villages, he asked if he could ride shotgun. He was itching to aim his camera at the cool underwater ruins. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> right there. I'm going to reel in. I just put it in, too. Eh? <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh. Far out he is. Yeah. He ripped. I bet you got a good one here. He ripped us good. Let me get this rod right out of the way. Holy smokes. Yep. Even with his big gear, they're hard to handle, eh? Oh man. Could you imagine a little regular? You'd be euchred. You'd be done if it was over. Oh boy. First carp of the year though. I'm a wimp right now. I need to go to the gym. Funny. That's a lot bigger than you <laughs> thought he was. He was a lot bigger than you Holy thought he was. Holy smokes. How can you not call that sport? That's great. How can anybody I look at it. this, I have... what we're doing right here, and not call it sport fishing? Yeah. I mean, that's just absolutely absurd. Yeah. If we were in Great Britain right now and I just caught that fish, there would be celebration in the local square, the town yeah. square. And we have these things everywhere. Bring him in. Show that to the peoples. 
He's got scars on him too. <laughs> Has he? There's he's clean got, on this side. He's got one big scale, like a mirror scale here, and then the rest are, he's got a couple of dings and bumps at him. Yeah, I don't know what the story is about the one underneath there. mirrors here. Obviously they came in at some point and they're probably breeding with the commons and you're yeah, probably getting yeah. cross breeding of, of Yeah, I'm sure they both. are, yeah. That is cool. Wanna put them in the net, let her go? Yeah, sure. There he goes. <laughs> this is so cool. You know, one of the real remarkable things about what we just did there and what anybody does when they go carp fishing, you're bound, to, especially in an area like this, you're bound to get into a 20 pound fish. But the nice thing about carp fishing is that you're also likely at the same time to get into 10 or 15 or 20, 20 pounds, as opposed yeah. to one trophy fish, you know, say if you're smallmouth bass fishing, you'll get that one five or six pounder. In carp, I mean, you could get into a whole day of that. Oh my gosh, oh my God, buddy. look at this fish. You do need some forearm strength for this. Man, that is unbelievable. Got him. <laughs> yeah. Boy, the ever goes up river. Wow, he took right oh. up, buddy. It took about, uh, well, you heard it, like a little zip, 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 and yeah. then he gets slack line. Yeah, uh. yeah, go, that's the fastest one yet. I mean, that picked it up in just about in front of the pier, yep. and boom. Yeah. <laughs> that could be a big fish. Ride him, cowboy. I tell you what, you, your do, spurs into you do need some forearm strength for this. <laughs> oh, oh, that is a gorgeous sight. Oh man, that's a gorgeous fish. It's a nice fat carper. Yes, he is. Up a little. Yes, sir. Good job, buddy. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> nice fish. My, but my arm is just sitting there just It's pulsating. early, it's early. <sighs> we need to get in shape, buddy. Oh, <laughs> Oh yeah, that's got some weight to it. That's a 20 that's, pound that's plus a, fish oh, for yeah. sure. Oh yeah, he's got length too, eh? Boy, they're such a great looking animal. Look at that beauty. Look at that fish right there. Tell me that that, you tell me that's a garbage fish and I'll call you a liar. Right there, folks. <laughs> look at that tail, look at the size of that tail. That is beautiful, man. Outstanding. Look how solid the fish is. I like the back, like from across that back, how fat and, that fish is that way, it's just a power machine. Now we talked about those mirror carp earlier on, and this, this is, is a, a normal this is a normal scale. This is a on perfect a fish, common, yeah. Carp. And the mirror's got all those mutated blobs yeah. and scales. In the net, bud? You yeah, clear? Yeah. Yeah, try to be nice and careful with them. Like that. Okay, let's see you put them back. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, big boy. There we go. Beautiful. If you're sitting there and you're sort of borderline contemplating it, give yourself the opportunity to enjoy it like we're enjoying it. Yeah. Get out there, catch a carp, and it, I'm it will change the way you think of these fish and uh, probably change the way you fish, period. Just yes, a, another great uh, resource that we've got here in Ontario. Agreed. Way out in the channel. Yes, sir. I might be able to, oh my gosh. Oh my God, buddy, look at this fish go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Yep. Oh, the and they set out. the hook all by themselves, and yeah. they run. Oh, it, it's it's magic, man. This could really get under your skin. This oh, this is fun. Man. I love it. I just love it. It's another common carp. Yeah. Oh man, that is unbelievable. Do you know that's the same bait I started with? <laughs> that's been awesome. That bait has been hot today, buddy. Nope. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> I what, love the colors what of looks these like, things. Eh? Look at his tail. Oh, he's got a chip. He's got out. half a tail. Oh, let me show you that. That's very cool. Well, it's not cool for him. He didn't stop him from fighting though, did he? Yeah. Look at that. Now that fish probably gave me the toughest fight of the day so far, and yet he's got a half a tail. Check that tail out. If you can show, if you can get your hand around the other side of his tail. Yeah. Here, just go ahead. Got it. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. That's been chopped right off. That's half a tail, folks, and that is stronger than most other fish. It's oh. a full tail. Oh, that without is just question. A, a power machine. Without question. That is fantastic. <laughs> I can see why the boys come here for, for a fun trip, eh? Unbelievable. Lots of fish. Unbelievable. Drop them in? Yeah. 
Here we go. Nice. See ya. Whoa, 100 mile an hour release. <laughs> Good job, brother. Man, they are You're so a carp good. expert, kid. They are excellent. <laughs> I nice. Mean, the most, I think, one of the most spectacular <laughs> fighting fish that we've got in our freshwater. <laughs> Man, that is unbelievable. We've been floating above the lost sunken villages of Longsu. While the population of those underwater ghost towns are zero, the carp population is incredible. And they are huge. <laughs> he Did he ever pick that up? Me. He just nailed me. This rig. There's something about it, man. There's it's something so, about it's, this rig. We need to analyze this a little bit, brother. Look at that corn sticking right in his face. <laughs> Oh, buddy, he's heavier. This, one, this guy's <laughs> that's a Whoa, fish. that's a lot bigger fish. You know, they don't look that big in the water, but check that one out. That's a big fish. That's, a, that's over 20 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is that wide across the head. Massive beast. You got him? He's yep. yours. Yep. Watch your line. Yep, you're good. Boy, when they get that heavy, they're a little bit harder to hand handle. <laughs> Up he goes. See ya. The beauty of this whole thing is that you've got all those fish on one bait and minus one even. It just kept instead throwing the same thing out. That's what I'm saying. Out. I've never had, uh, other than artificial baits, obviously, but I've never yeah. had a real bait, we'll call it, <laughs> that has stood up. Yeah. that's. I mean, this thing has stood up all day long. Oh, my God. It's unbelievable. Is there one more in it? Oh, buddy, <laughs> you, don't, you better not stop or I'll grab it on you. <laughs> With our chums still sitting on the river bottom, we've seen a few really good-sized carp swimming by. One of them has an odd look to its dorsal. With the way it's been bottom feeding and the interest it's showing in our baits, something tells me we're going to get a much closer look. Yeah. You got him, buddy. <laughs> you got him. You cast. Oh, oh, he's coming towards my line. He's coming up. Yeah. He's in the weeds, boy. There's some weeds out there. Huh? Lots oh. of weeds. He is in such thick weeds. We may have to go after him, buddy. We're running 50-pound uh, braid on, on these rigs because of all the weeds nah, and the You rocks need every bit of it, too, huh? Yeah. And that's the minimum you'd use up here, 40 or 50 pound. Holy smokes. Well, that's it. There's is a lot he? of... Uh, no, he's not that big. There's a lot of uh, weeds. You got in. him? I got him. Perfect. That's the weed feller. Strong fella. <laughs> Look at his fin, broken uh, yep. dorsal fin. It's healed up well, but uh, right there. Yeah. Broken up is all healed. This girl up. looks like a trigger fish. Yeah. That's what they have is yeah. big fins sticking up the back. Big open snout. And that's how he sucks everything in right there. And do they ever suck stuff in, man? <laughs> they hoover when they feed. <laughs> they hoover it. See you, buddy. Nice. Today's hotspot is located in what's referred to as the carp capital of Canada, the Long Sioux on the St. Lawrence River. The waypoint on your screen will get you there. Feed this area with pre-boiled corn, back off at least 100 yards if you're in a boat, drop your power poles or your anchor, and wait for these drag-ripping golden monsters. A combination of sweet and flavored corn on a hair rig is a great presentation to fool carp here. By the way, this hotspot can be accessed by shore as well. For more hotspots like this one, check out fishincanada.com. You're on. Oh, he's going up upstream, brother. Going up cricket to the reeds area. Oh. Oh, these things. Oh, I hope he doesn't go in the weeds. That's a nice big old carp, man. There he goes. He's free of those weeds. Uh oh, he's gonna be right in this mill foil right here. Good thing I picked up my line, huh? Yeah, no kidding. Here he is, right here, bud. It's a mirror. Is it a mirror? Yeah. Oh yeah, nice. Hey, Lawrence, it's a beautiful mirror. Bring it home, brother. You got nice it, big one. fella. Nice. Oh, that's a beautiful what a gorgeous carp, man. fish, man. What a gorgeous fish. Wow. Oh, oh there's, look at that. Look at that mark there. Gouge, yeah. Now, he's had a problem there. Yeah. He's had, definitely had some encounters yeah. with somebody. Look at this. Absolutely. What a gorgeous fish. Look at that. Now, you know the story behind these mirror carp, right? Yeah. Well, you told me it before. I well, remember. I had a guy, when we were in Britain doing the carp show, they, um, they explained to me what happened. 
Because this was a food fish brought in by royalty into, the, into Great Britain, right. uh, and because a carp is just so naturally scaly, mm -hmm. they started crossbreeding him with some sort of a, a, a channel cat that had smooth, no scale skin. So they, they put a carp in with a cat and came up with what they were hoping to be a, a completely scaleless carp. Uh, and in fact, what happened, as you can see, is all these mutated scales, these big... I, I love the look of this. And, and, and then you've got just straight yeah. skin everywhere else, right? That, is, that a is a gorgeous... Beautiful, beautiful fish by anybody's standards, man. Wow. Look at that coloration, the pattern on them. That is just a great fish. That is a mere carp. Yeah. Here he goes, and beautiful. They are such a cool oh, fish, yeah. man. I, I, yeah. I, I can't say enough about these things. I mean, I know we've, over the last uh, couple of seasons, we've really been trying to rant and rave about carp, but I don't think we can say enough about them. Oh, absolutely. Underutilized, the most, I think, one of the most spectacular fighting fish that we've got in our freshwater, Impressive. and the abundance of these things. Abundance of big fish. If oh. you want to catch a fish 15 to 25 pounds, and you've never caught that in your life, which most, most people don't get, you go off the shore <laughs> and you catch them. We've been fishing the Long Sioux region of the St. Lawrence River, and while it's an absolute mecca for carp fishing, it's hardly the only place around southern Ontario to find them. Lake Ontario, Lake Erie, the Kawarthas, from shore or from boat, there's plenty of opportunity to find some of the best fish in Canada. They're not too shabby around no, here. No, no. To get to today's great carp fishing, we first drove east on Highway 401, and then traveled south on Brookdale Avenue at Cornwall to the Ramada Inn. From there, we drove west on Vincent Massey Drive and then turned south on Neil Roche Road to the boat launch. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks. Nothing works harder than a Ram. Stearns, trusted on the water since 1952. Mercury Outboards, number one on the water. And Outdoor Canada, Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine. Bye. Um.